So I'm moving into a brand new apartment with my boyfriend. Yes, I'm moving in with my boyfriend. <laughs> So yes, I'm officially moving in with my boyfriend and I know it's a little controversial and at the end of the day, it's my own life, it's specific circumstances and this is what I've personally decided to do with my boyfriend and the next step, a big step for our relationship. We do have separate bedrooms on separate floors and everything, so that's nice. I'll get into some of the reasons why a little bit later, but first we need to hear from our sponsor, Care Of. As you guys know, I've been on a big just like health and fitness journey. Vitamins has always been a bit of a struggle for me, but Care of makes it like super super easy first of all look how cute their packaging is so care of is a subscription service that ships high quality personalized vitamins supplements and powders conveniently straight to your door their individual packaging makes traveling super easy because you can just grab however many days you're gonna be gone grab that many packages and then you've got your little vitamins throw them in your backpack good to go if you're also on a little bit of a health journey well care of is definitely for you because they can help you start or add to a sustainable and enjoyable enjoyable wellness routine. It's aimed at making you feel real results by building healthy habits. And to get started, all you have to do is take a short in-depth quiz talking about your lifestyle, your health goals, and then they give you a personalized recommendation so you can stop guessing which supplements and vitamins you should be taking. I personally love Care of because it's helped me build a healthy routine. I've been wanting to get into taking vitamins and supplements for a while, but I had no idea where to start, so Care of made that very easy. Trust me guys, you don't want to miss out on this, so if you want 50% off your first order, go to takecareof.com and then enter code SYDNEYFRANCIS50 and you'll get 50% off your first Care of order. Once again, that's take careof.com code Sydney Francis 50 or of course you can just click the link in the description box once again thank you so much to care of for sponsoring this video and let's continue time to go get the u-haul I'm supposed to get it at 7 and it is 7 I woke up at like 6 30 and was really struggling why did I choose I could choose any time and I chose this time myself anyway let's go get the u-haul This is just a heads up that my boyfriend still doesn't want to be on camera or you guys to know who he is and I'm not really ready for that either because of my last experience having a relationship online. It just really stresses me out. Like even in this video, I was like stressed people knowing things about my relationship. So he is not in this video. Later on, there is a guy in this video and it is my friend's boyfriend, not my boyfriend. So don't be trying to look because I already checked. He is not in this video, but we're super excited for this next step and it'll probably bring us closer to showing you guys who my boyfriend is and getting to know us and our relationship just a little bit in the near future ready for the new apartment except this is only truck one we're definitely gonna have to come back this is just all the furniture I'm at the new apartments and this is terrible picking up the keys at the new apartments right now boyfriend is in the passenger seat with the cat um, we actually have to sign the lease because we got transferred to a bigger apartment it was a whole ordeal but basically got to sign a new lease and then I get the keys the next few clips are really loud because someone was literally there cleaning my apartment it is so nice oh my <laughs> it's so nice and so good I love it all right Kitty just got into the apartment this is your new home! Yeah! You have such a big home now! The first piece of furniture. Kitty. So we just walked around our apartment for the first time. There was a guy working, but he just got done. Phoenix is not having it. He's like, where am I? What is this? Kitty! We're right here! I feel like he's really gonna like all the space. But our new apartments gave us a bottle of wine. So once we move in, we can crack this open and celebrate tonight. But this is our new place. I'm also filming a empty apartment tour. So if you guys want to see the apartment, I would definitely recommend going to watch that after or before this is posted, kind of depends. But uh, I'm so excited. We have so much moving to do though. It's so echoing here. We have the U-Haul packed. We also need to go do another trip with the U-Haul, so. It's gonna be a long day. This will be in my boyfriend's bathroom. We both have our own room and our own bathroom on different stories, so it's definitely really nice. I'll change it. Oh, what do you mean you'll change it? To be what? Your voice. I like it. Mean, Darth Vader. How do you like the new apartment? I mean, it's really big. It's nice. Yeah, this is really nice. I'm gonna crack open the window when I want to. What are you gonna do with all the space? Probably sleep the first thing. <laughs> Fair enough. Can't argue with that. Do you wanna film me doing the apartment tour? No. Yes. I just don't want to. Actually, I want to. Well, will you? Probably. Okay, that's oh, right. Look at you. Okay. 
Oh my gosh, I almost fell down the stairs. Okay. <laughs> this is my car compared to how big the garage is, so... I feel like now is a good time to talk about this, but this is a really big apartment. I do live in Texas, so it's not gonna, it's not as expensive. Yes, it's still pretty expensive. I definitely feel very like fortunate or privileged to have this apartment. Are you zooming in like aggressively on me? Maybe. But me and my boyfriend are completely splitting the rent, and so that actually makes it cheaper than me getting a one bedroom by myself. So it's crazy that I get to live here. I'm feeling very thankful for my new job, for you guys, for all the opportunities that have come my way that I can afford this. So all glory to Jesus. All right, let's film a based. apartment tour. <laughs> She's based. So we just went and looked around at the apartment, got the Wi-Fi set up, got the kitty all comfortable, and unloaded what was in the car. Now we're gonna go back to my old apartment and get the U-Haul, put some more stuff in the car. And all of my boyfriend's stuff is also at my house because he was just there the last couple days since his lease was already up and all that. Anyway, basically, all the stuff is at my apartment. So we're just gonna go get everything and then move into the new place. There's literally a spider where I need to put the keys in. <sighs> okay, it ran away. That was terrifying. I hate spiders. Wow, I hate this place. It's so dark. I'm so glad I'm moving. So I'm kind of the dumbest person I've ever met. We drive all the way back here. It's only like 10 minutes, but still. I forgot the keys to drive the U-Haul. So we have to go back and get the keys for the U-Haul. But while I'm here, I, well, I need to grab something for the cat and then grab a few things just to throw in the car, I guess. Kitty litter materials. Okay, I actually got the keys, put all my gaming stuff in the car, and I'm gonna drive the U-Haul over. So, I'm already so annoyed and tired, and we still have another truck to do, so. Today's going a lot slower than expected, but let's go. I was just editing the video and I thought I would hop in and say that we went back to the apartment, filled up the truck again, which took so long and I was trying to get it done by six o'clock so I could take the keys to the old apartment and not have to go back the next day. And I forgot my camera at the new apartment as well as I just knew that I didn't want to have to set up my video, try not to get my boyfriend in it. And I don't think you guys understand if you're a YouTuber, everything takes like four times as long because you're trying to get shots of everything. So I said in this video, I'm going to just do what I can because I know it's gonna be a very long stressful day we were both feeling really tired at that point we started at 7 a.m. and left that old apartment at 6 p.m. with the final truck and then had to unload it so we were just exhausted and that leads us to the next clip I know I haven't updated you guys the truth is things got stressful things got hectic as in like I wanted to take a nap but couldn't I was hungry but couldn't eat so you know how I get a little cranky anyway <laughs> we are now moving everything in. This is the second trip. The second trip took so much longer than we thought and filled the entire truck. But luckily, my friend Alyssa and her boyfriend, he's in town, so they are helping and is going a million times faster. And after this, we can return the truck and vibe. Look at Alyssa, working hard. The hardest, truly. <laughs> <laughs> Come on camera. <laughs> Thanks for coming to help. Of course. It is so fun. Are you going to do a house tour? I already did one, but yes. <laughs> I already filmed Do it, it. Like all decorated and yeah. everything. Oh, I'm so excited. The glass almost fell. Oh no. <laughs> At the end of the night, we were just so exhausted. It literally took 10 more hours than we thought it would to move, not over exaggerating. So we did not crack open that bottle of wine. We're gonna save it. We just got some Sonic, watched a little show, and then went to sleep. Good morning, everyone. I just spent my first night in the new apartment, and let me tell you, I'm obsessed. I love this place so much. It's like a dream come true. There's so much light in here, and I think that was the main thing. It would make me sad, and like, I just hated my last apartment, even though it was nice on the inside, and had terrible lighting. Um, this place has beautiful lighting. These windows are west facing, so I get a beautiful sunset, and then the windows like in the bedrooms. I guess it would just be east facing, so beautiful sunrise, but I have my blinds closed, so I don't know. I don't wake up that early. <laughs> but um, I love this place, I'm so happy. Today I'm gonna just do a little bit of organizing. I got yesterday off work, and then I asked if I could take a couple hours off this morning just to, like find my stuff to set my computer up. So I'll do that first, and then if I have time, I'll kind of organize some boxes. Oh, also, today was the first day of my boyfriend's new job. Um, he was supposed to start Monday, but since he was moving, they were like, you can take PTO and take the day off, or you can just start on Thursday. So he actually started today and left 
this morning. I just wanted to hop in and take a little few minutes to explain some of the reasons why I and my boyfriend decided to move in together. I have a list, but I'll just tell you guys a couple. Like one of the main things is getting closer before deciding to commit your lives together and be married. And I feel like a lot of people think it's about just knowing if the other person is messy. And I guess, yeah, but there is so much more that you learn about someone living with them. I mean, the same goes for like friends or anyone. If you want to get to know someone, live with them. But it's more about how we treat each other when no one else is around, when we're tired after a long day. All those little things you only know about each other when you move in together. It's a bit of a mess, but it'll definitely do for now. I'll show you some other progress. I brought a bunch of stuff up here, and then I'm doing some laundry. So it's very loud. Got the bookshelf up here, I've got my Bible and stuff. Just imagine like all this nice light come in. My vanity here, the mirror reflecting the light. It's gonna hit, cause like, this is where the big three windows are. I don't remember if I'm posting the house tour first or not, so I'm sorry if you guys haven't seen the whole place yet, but it'll be up very soon if not. Um, honestly, let's go grab that right now. I'm gonna go say hi. Hello, I'm obsessed with this. Okay, I'm gonna bring my desk vanity thing up there. Ooh. Oh my goodness, it literally couldn't fit any more perfect. Like it doesn't even poke out. This is gonna be so beautiful. Gotta go get my big mirror. Oh my goodness. Wow, I love the reflection of the light. So my other plan for up here is to bring, I have these two like matching chairs that are really comfy from Ikea. They're like low. I was just gonna have this be a reading nook, but I really like this idea. So I think I'll just bring one chair up here and then I have my bookshelf chair and that'll be like the perfect little cause my boyfriend probably won't come up here and. So, <laughs> this would be my little area. And then I can say hello to all my people downstairs. I started unloading some boxes. I was charging this camera, so I didn't record much of it. But this was annoying to do because this was all the way down in the garage. So technically, it's three stories because the garage is on the first story. Walk in, go up the stairs, and then there's the living room, kitchen, and my boyfriend's bedroom. And then the up upstairs is like my bedroom in this area. So I had to walk up three flights of stairs with this thing. <laughs> which made moving up pain yesterday, which I was so glad that Alyssa and Nick were able to come help. That literally made it go a million times faster. This is how I have my bed right now, but I'm gonna get a canopy bed frame. It's gonna be so cute. What we're working with downstairs, pretty messy, but I'm just getting through it. All right, turning the music back on. Time to do stuff. I definitely agree that I want marriage to be set apart and be different. There are definitely things that we are saving till marriage. Um, just because we're living together doesn't mean we are acting just like a married couple would. I mean, we have separate bedrooms and everything. I mean, to be honest, you got to put it out there, the finances. It was so expensive for us to both have our own apartments and we were ready to move in together. So it kind of just worked out perfectly. And now we can both save a lot more money for plans in the future. I think it's also really good before or getting married because our goal is to get married one day to get into a routine of knowing how to spend time together versus time apart and how to actually treat each other instead of just seeing each other for a few hours every day like now we know how to balance our actual day-to-day -day life together I feel like it'll also help slow down the rush that you feel when you're so in love with your partner to get married because we're living together and you know we can wait for the other things but now we don't have to like drive to each other's apartment and all of that annoying stuff this one might be stupid, but for the far future when we do get married, it reduces the stress of having to get married and move in at the same time because so much changes when you move in with your partner. And I think one of the biggest ones is that we can work out any problems or issues that come up over time of the next, you know, year, two years, however long until we get married now instead of when we're in a marriage. And not that it gives the excuse to break up, but we can actually work through those problems. Um, that may not come up until you live together. And personally, I just think a lot of that stuff and more that I didn't even mention are really important before you are legally tied together. From my own personal experience, I know I had no clue what being married actually meant legally and how insanely tied together you are. So I just wanna have all these things done before I get married. Not done, but like work on these things before I get married. And honestly, like I wouldn't say we would get married right now, but one of the things is that we can't afford to get married right 
right now, but we wanna be more serious with our relationship and be more intentional about it and take those next steps that we need to. So it's also a good way to be able to save up for that. And yeah, I'm not saying we're trying to rush into getting married. That's kind of the purpose of moving in together also. Don't recommend this for everyone. I'm not saying that this is what works for everyone. In fact, for some people, you probably shouldn't live together before you get married, but this is what me and my boyfriend decided to do. Okay, I'd say I did a pretty good job for today. Like, really good. Um, we still need to get a couch and then I can put this chair up there in my little reading spot. Also, I really don't mind. Like, I know some of you might be like, why is your boyfriend helping you? I'm sure he'll help put away the rest of the stuff once he gets here, but I am just a very go, go, go person. So once I start, I literally cannot stop. So I don't mind that he's at work and I am unpacking because I work from home. So I had to find all my stuff. That's why I'm not working, but I am taking my lunch break and then I am going to actually start work for the day. So I just did a half day today, but it's looking so good. Like think about how it was before and this is it now. I'm gonna put the mirror over there and once this TV is like up there, it'll look better. But ta-da, I kinda got a little setup going. Still a mess, but a lot better. That is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I actually just started storming, which is crazy because I was actually supposed to move today, but decided to do it yesterday instead. God literally blessed that one, so shout out God. But I hope you guys enjoyed. The tour will be coming soon. I have so much fun. I'm looking forward to this next little bit of living with my boyfriend in this next stage of my life and being in such like a beautiful apartment. I'm so thankful. I love you guys. If you want to see more content like this, well, actually, I don't move every day, so just if you want to see more of me, I guess. Hit subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!